Earthquakes are definitely scary, but most countries tend to be able to resist them in a certain way. However, some of them can possibly be so strong that not even the most prepared country will be able to deal with them. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be talking about the consequences of a magnitude 10 mega earthquake. Stay until the end to find out what would happen catastrophic effects of such an event in our planet. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great content like today. First of all, let's clear up the obvious. Is a Richter scale magnitude 10 earthquake even possible? The largest earthquake since 1900 has been a 9.5 magnitude quake in Chile in 1960. Although terribly strong, this is not compared to what would happen with a magnitude 10 earthquake. The magnitude of an earthquake is related to the length of the fault on which it occurs. That is, the longer the fault, the larger the earthquake. A fault is a break in the rocks that make up the Earth's crust, along with which rocks on either side have moved past each other. Earthquakes of a magnitude 8.5 or generally greater occur on a type of fault called a subduction zone. In a nutshell, a subduction zone is a fault that forms when one tectonic plate dives underneath another plate, right into the mantle. That's the lava parts way down low in the Earth. When the plates slide underneath, the overriding plate locks and stays locked, and while it does, it holds a lot of elastic strain and begins to wrap. Eventually, the plate can no longer hold a pressure, and the subduction zone snaps, causing an earthquake. Subduction zones are the only faults that can generate an earthquake of this size because they're the only ones that have a large surface area. In other words, they have the length and the width necessary to generate such a quake. Let's also clear up how the Richter scale works, really. The Richter scale is exponential. A one level increase, say from seven to eight, is actually 10 times more powerful in terms of total energy release. A 10 would be 100 times as strong as a seven, if you see what we mean. The Richter scale is logarithmic, meaning it goes up by levels of 10. So a magnitude 10 earthquake is 10 times larger than a magnitude nine, a 10 on the scale being a staggering amount of energy. But this isn't solely what makes earthquakes dangerous. Focus depth, the distance beneath the surface that the epicenter is located, is just as important. However, the Richter scale has a minor flaw in its design, which is the fact that it can't handle large earthquakes very well, as the Chile 1960 example can testify. This is because the Richter scale is based on ground displacement and depends on how much the earthquake shakes the ground. Instead, we use the momentum magnitude scale, which measures the strength of an earthquake in terms of energy. The energy of such an earthquake would be 30 times greater than the magnitude 9.0 quake that hit the northeast of Japan on March 11, 2011. It could happen if 3,000 kilometers of faults from the Japan Trench are combined with the Kuril Kamchata Trench moved by 60 meters. A magnitude 10 quake would likely cause ground motions for up to an hour with tsunamis hitting while shaking is still going on. On top of that, tsunamis would continue for days, causing damage to several Pacific Rim nations. Santiago and Concepcion in Chile got a taste of what happens when shaking lasts that long in 2010, when a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake caused major damage to buildings exceeding 10 stories, and that was just when the shaking lasted two minutes. More than 10 minutes or even an hour would mean absolute destruction. It would be a cataclysm. The tsunamis would be powerful enough to devastate communities thousands of miles away. Imagine Honolulu getting hit by waves similar to the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, which reached heights exceeding 40 feet. Among the biggest social consequences, in particular, low- and middle-income communities experience the greatest long-term economic damages, while high-income countries may even experience some positive building-back-better effects. Of course, that's when taking into account the earthquakes we're already used to. If it was a mega earthquake, even a high income country would have a difficult time effectively building back from it. So what do you think of the terrifying consequences of a magnitude 10 earthquake in our planet? Do you think this could be possible? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time. Listen.